Hi, and welcome back to these tutorials on the basics of using SPSS syntax. In the first two tutorials I showed you how to set up a syntax file and how to use it. Um, if you're new to working with syntax, you are often going to be at a point where you're wondering what the syntax for executing a certain command is. Um, and in the uh, fourth and final tutorial, I'll walk you through some of the often used commands. Um, but that will only scratch the surface of how SPSS syntax works. So in this one I'm going to show you how to get help. So we're in a situation where we are wondering what's the proper syntax to do something? Um, and in what's the proper way to execute a certain command? Um, and one approach then is the based syntax from the menu. I'll show you how this works, uh, but it has a few downsides, mainly that it's slower than just t typing the syntax, and furthermore that it produces a lot of redundant syntax. Uh, but nonetheless, I think it could be a good strategy when you can figure out what the proper syntax should be. So let's start with the syntax file we used in the previous tutorial, which is this one. Um, let's run everything from get file until the end of the data transformations like we discussed earlier um, and let's try to perform a regression analysis now by pasting the syntax from the menu uh, let's say we want to regress happiness on age we want to know whether people's happiness changes across the life course so what we'll need is the happy variable we created as well as x003 which is the name of the age variable in these data. So if you're pasting syntax make sure that the cursor is at the spot where you want it to be pasted. So in our case we'll just make a little section here that says regression happiness and there we want it to be pasted. And now we select Analyze, Regression, Linear. Um, we select the variables we want. So we want dependent variable happiness and we want x003 as the independent variable. And then we can click Paste over here. So there we have the syntax of regression and we can uh, run it by just selecting it and hitting Control R. But uh, it's a little messy, uh, I'd say, this syntax. So let me just demonstrate how you can achieve the same thing by doing less. We can leave out the default settings in the command and we are allowed to abbreviate commands or subcommands. So the following would be an example of a much more efficient way of asking for exactly the same output. We can just say regress slash dependent variable or the abbreviated slash dep equals happy slash enter equals x003 for the independent variable or variables. This it achieves exactly the same thing. But look at the difference. It's much quicker, it's much simpler, and it's much cleaner. Um, and by the way, you can also try to clean up the syntax SPSS, paste it, of course. Um, but still, typing it yourself is a, is a much more efficient approach. OK, that was a small intermezzo on pasting syntax, let's go back to the question of how to get help. There are um, several options. Of course you can Google your question. However, I'm not always impressed by the results you get. Uh, unlike other statist uh, statistical programs, SPSS doesn't seem to have the most active user forums and the like on the internet. 
Uh, one online resource I do like is the website of uh, UCLA's Institute for Digital Research and Education, which is the link I uh, have provided. So, um, for example, the Frequently Asked Questions uh, uh, page they have provides all kinds of excellent explanations. Um, a third option is to ask your fellow students or your professor. Uh, and this is uh, uh, very effective quite often. Uh, you should never hesitate to do this. Um, we've all been at the point where you know, you're staring at your syntax, unable to figure out what's wrong. And um, believe me, I've been there uh, myself many times as well. So in those situations, a fresh look on things by someone else often helps. But in the remainder of this tutorial, I want to look at a fourth option, and that's the command syntax reference. Although this reference is not very user-friendly, in my opinion, um, it has all the information you could possibly need, and it is included in the program. Um, so I'll show you that with a few instructions, you can actually use it quite effectively. Um, the the uh, command syntax reference is um, uh, basically a very large PDF file that is accessible through the help menu. So if we go here to the help menu, you see that you can click on command syntax reference. And on the left hand side there are all the commands like the means commands I already clicked and on the right hand side there is explanation and except for um, examples and explanations the command syntax reference always gives the format of a certain command at the start with all the possible options and with all the possible subcommands and at first this looks well very messy but you know let's study it a little bit to see how it works so we're gonna look at this means commands because we used it in a previous tutorial um, and there are a couple of things you should note the first thing is that everything between square brackets is optional or we can also reverse that it means that we should um, at least type everything that's not in square brackets in our syntax so in the case of the means command that just leaves the words means and uh, either var list or all and note that all is written in uh, uppercase letters this, this means that you have to copy it literally in your syntax words in lowercase letters should be replaced by your own values typically variable names so we could either type means all um, like this and this would give us the, the means of all variables in the data set um, and by the way, notice that in your syntax you don't have to uh, use uppercase letters. Or we could type means followed by one or more variables, like we did earlier. Okay, so that's certainly not complicated. But let's look at a few ways to extend this command. So we already saw in the previous tutorial that you can extend it by using the by subcommand. Uh, we used it to get group means, the means of happiness by uh, marital status in this example. And you can also see this in the command syntax reference. So here you see um, by var list, so it's within squared brackets, so you don't have to uh, specify it, but you're allowed to specify the word by followed by one or more variables. Um, and another thing you should 
uh, note is that um, everything that is followed by two stars, like here, is used when an entire subcommand is omitted. And this also happened in our syntax because we didn't specify the cells subcommand. And SPSS interpreted this as that we wanted means, counts, and standard deviations in the output. And we can easily overrule this by including the subcommand. So if I uh, include slash cells equals mean here in this line, um, I will just get uh, the means in the output, not the counts, not the standard deviations. Um, and in some cases you have to read the um, uh, this description of a certain command or subcommand. So this is um, what I'm showing you is the format of the command and then after the format comes a description of the command itself and all of the subcommands like you can see here. Um, but I'm sure you can read that yourself. Um, there's only one last thing I want to show you. Suppose we wanted a ANOVA test of the difference between the means of happiness according to marital status. So like before we have the means by a certain group. Let's remove the cells subcommand here. But now we want to know whether the differences uh, in the means of happiness um, according to marital status are significant. We don't want to do a statistical test of the group differences. In the command syntax reference you can see that uh, you can request statistics. You can see it here. And that ANOVA is one of the possibilities. ANOVA here. And please notice that it, it is in bold letters. So everything in bold um, but without the two stars is used as the default option when a subcommand is requested but without any sub, uh, specifications. So let's request an ANOVA test now. Um, and it's very simple. We just add um, slash that over here and that's the only thing you need to do let's also run it so what happens is um, that SPSS sees no further specifications after the slash stat subcommand so it uses the default and that's an ANOVA test um, and you can just see the results in the output window over here so clearly the um, differences in happiness according to marital status are highly significant. Okay, that's it for this tutorial. Um, in the final one I'll walk you through some of the often used commands using syntax and um, hope to see you back.